Here we are approaching another holiday season. And even though the holiday season can be exciting and we're looking forward to lots of wonderful activities with family and friends, it can also be a time of stress, too much to do, not enough time. It could be financial stress. It could trigger feelings of loneliness, maybe loss and grief. The holiday season is a mixed bag of lots of emotions, and it's really easy to activate the fight, flight, freeze response, to get into that unconscious reactive behavior. And one of the things that you can do to really take care of yourself and allow yourself to move through the holiday season with more ease, with more flow, and actually experience more joy and happiness and fulfillment is to regulate your nervous system. Because when we are overstimulated, either by things that are stressing us out in the outer world, or maybe some emotions are coming up in the inner world, and we are activated, we need to take time to deactivate, meaning we want to activate the parasympathetic response, the response that allows us to be present and mindful and intentional. When we're in the fight, flight, freeze, we are reactive. We go unconscious. That's where the overindulgence, we might start stuffing food into our face or over drinking or overreacting to things, overspending, is because we're in the unconscious mode and we want to become more intentional and conscious so that we could make decisions from a clearer place, whether it's what we want to put into our bodies or the money we want to spend or the relationships we want to have. It helps us when we're more conscious and intentional to draw clearer boundaries with others. So in today's video, I'm going to offer you a very simple tapping practice that's going to enable you to activate the parasympathetic response, the relaxation, the rest and digest response. It's something that you can do in the morning for a couple of minutes, in the evening, or any time that you feel activated. Sometimes you could just go into the bathroom and take some time to calm down. So tapping is a great way to get yourself present, to tell your body and your brain that you're safe in the moment and get present to the feelings that are coming up. So follow along with me. First of all, get yourself into a comfortable, relaxed state, taking a moment to get still. Take a moment to tune into your body and tune into your breath. You might wanna bring your hands to your heart and take a breath in and let it go. And if your mind is busy or your body is feeling revved up, take a few more breaths. No judgment here, just notice and allow. And as you're bringing your hands to your heart, you're telling your heart that you are safe in this moment. So take another deep breath in and let it go. And in this moment, tune into your body and notice how your body is feeling. Again, releasing any judgments. If your head is really busy, it's an indication that you are activated in a fight, flight, freeze. So the more patient you are with yourself, the more loving and kind and compassionate you are with yourself, the more your brain and your body will calm down. Take another breath in and let it go. Breathing deeply. And we'll do a simple round of tapping. What this does is it releases any blockages in the flow of energy. You might find yourself yawning or your eyes are watering. That's a great response. Not necessary, but it's a common response for many because it actually allows your body to release and let go. So begin by tapping on the top of the head. And at each point, you're taking a deep breath in and let it go. Tuning into the sensation of your fingertips touching your skin. Breathing in. And letting go. And then the next point is on the forehead, the third eye. 
And once again, breathing in and letting go on the eyebrow. And you can use both hands if they're free. If not, either side works. Take a breath in and let it go. Ease and flow. Release and let go. The side of the eye. Take another breath in. And let it go. Ease and flow. Release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. Underneath the eye. Ease and flow. Release and let go. Breathing in and letting go. The top of the lip. Breathing in and letting go. The crease of the chin. Ease and flow. Release and let go. And you can tune into something that reminds you of ease and flow. See if you can connect to something, maybe an experience in nature or a time when you felt relaxed and in the flow. If it feels good to close your eyes and bring yourself there, that can support you in allowing your body to feel more at ease on the collarbone, just where the bone sticks up, that little indentation underneath. You might find yourself wanting to wiggle your body, breathing deeply, maybe even getting up. The more you get the body moving, the more you get the energy flowing, the more you're de-stressing your system. Maybe feelings are coming up, maybe emotions are coming up. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is you're feeling. Let it move through you. Energy wants to flow. Our emotions are energy. Crying is a great release of energy. Ease and flow. Release and let go. And then underneath the arm, you, again, you can do both sides. You can do it like this. Ease and flow. Release and let go. Back to the top of the head. Take another breath in and let it go. Let's go through the round again. You can either close your eyes and listen to my voice cues, or you can keep them open and follow along. On the third eye, ease and flow, release and let go. On the eyebrow, ease and flow, release and let go. The side of the eye, breathing in and letting go. Underneath the eye, ease and flow, release and let go. Top of the lip, breathing in and letting go. Crease of the chin, ease and flow, release and let go the collarbone, breathing in and letting go, ease and flow, release and let go, underneath the arm, top of the head, another breath in and let it go, bring your hands back to your heart, breathing in and letting go, send some love, send some positive energy to your heart. Send some love and some positive energy to your body. Take a moment to appreciate yourself. Appreciate that you showed up for yourself in this way today. You might want to send some love and light to yourself, to your family and friends, to your community and out to the world. I hope that this is helpful. You can go ahead and do this practice anytime you feel inclined. 
I would suggest that during the holiday season and even beyond, you start to put this into your daily practice. I like to do it before I meditate in the morning. You can just do it before you're even sitting down for a meal. As a matter of fact, if you do it before you're sitting down for a meal, it will actually activate the, a wonderful rest and digest. You will digest your food and be more satisfied by it much better when you're de-stressed. Again, the holiday season can be a challenging, difficult time for many of us. Taking good care of yourself will enable you to be present for yourself and for all the people in your life. It only takes a couple of minutes a day. This is how we cultivate self-love and self-appreciation. We learn to respect ourselves and our bodies. It starts with a few minutes a day. It starts with setting the intention. If you need some extra support this holiday season, I have a couple of exciting things going on. For clients that have worked with me in the past, I have a special three session package, which is something that's very unique to the work that I do. If you're interested in learning more about that, you can hop on a Zoom call, a free Zoom call with me, and I can tell you more about what that package includes. And I'm also, for the new year, after January, beginning a 10-session group coaching program that will enable you to cultivate optimum body confidence, give you lots of tools to self-regulate, enable you to de-stress, draw healthier boundaries in your life, and more. So if you are interested in learning more about that, you can click on the link and I'd be happy to chat with you about the details about that program. I wish you a wonderful holiday season. I wish you a satisfying, gratifying holiday season. And until next time, keep on taking good care of yourself. Bye now.